is Aboriginal land, always was, always will be, and uh, sovereignty's never been ceded. And it's a particularly uh, poignant time to remember that and to pay our respects to those elders past and present on the land in which we're meeting. I'd also, I, I haven't come here to join the Socialist Alliance, <laughs> but uh, I have come here to just, uh, um, A, wish you an enormous, give you a sign of enormous goodwill in what you're doing here over these two days and what you do as a political project. Because um, if, there's, if there's one thing that the progressive part of politics needs, that the left needs, it's a sense of unity, it's a sense of collective purpose. And uh, look, as I was uh, waiting in the wings, I heard you talking about motions about unity. You will deal with that as, as you see fit. But more broadly in progressive politics, we need a sense of unity. We need to uh, remember strongly what unites us and what we're aiming for. Now, if there's one thing socialist science can never be criticised of, uh, with, it is not having a world view. Um, <laughs> and, and not having a sense of ideology and a sense of what the political project is about. Why are we in politics? What are our goals in politics? What are the tools we use as people engaged in politics to achieve outcomes? Now, for me, that's one of the great strengths of your organisation, a, a clear political view and a clear sense of a discussion about politics about uh, what society we want to achieve collectively. What are the impediments to that? What are the current structures in our society that are stopping greater justice, greater environmental sustainability? What are the structures that are impeding us from engaging as individuals, worthwhile individuals, and getting meaningful change through a political process? I think all of us uh, in this room here today would recognise we've got a society which is structured to prevent individuals joining collectively to achieve progressive outcomes. Uh, and uh, for me, one of the challenges of working in progressive politics is forming a worldview that unites us and can articulate um, how to change society. And what I, I, I know you've been gathering together, I'm sure having in many ways abstruse political arguments, but can I say talking politics is important, having a political structure is important. And for me, a party which doesn't have a political structure, which doesn't try and achieve a world view, is a party that's going to ultimately uh, not be effective and not be able to achieve genuine outcomes. So um, I, I wish you well. I do, I do strongly, um, it's a strong call for unity in progressive politics. We, we do face challenging times. Uh, I think many people in the broader populace view the market ascendancy as inevitable, total, complete, absolute, hegemonic. Uh, I personally don't believe that. We are seeing a globe where market hegemony in, in other parts of the world, in Europe, in the United States, is being seriously questioned. We sit here on the streets with Occupy Sydney. We are seeing a market economy facing extreme pressures and, and in part, partial collapse. What is the... That gives progressive politics an enormously broad space to start talking over the coming years about what can replace it, what can, what can empower individuals and communities, how we can reorder society and our economy in order to deliver for people, in order to deliver for the environment. I know that's what you're talking about. Um, I wish you well in your discussions. Uh, from myself as a Greens MP, um, I, uh, good luck, goodwill, and let's strive to work together as we can to get those progressive outcomes. Thank you.